first I check the daily chart is on the Senko Span A. In the 4 hour chart is going down, still Kijun Sen within the Kumo. But let me check the previous chart. Previously, there was no support, so this downtrend can be persistent. And one hour shows downtrend. In the five minute shows uh, a bit ranging now. Yeah, again, this is not a good time to sell because it may retrace backwards continuously. In this case, what I think is that the market may be resisted by the previous support and go down. So I would wait for this scenario to sell. Or it may be resisted at the previous resistance level in the 5 and go down too. But for now, looks like it's a bit retracing back. And if it breaks, if the market breaks exactly this level over here, um, 162.026, if the market breaks that level, then this is the neckline of double bottom here in the 5. So if it breaks it, then it may go up to the next resistance, which was the previous support. And now it's breaking. So in this case, I would wait for the next 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And if this breakout happens, if this kind of close becomes above the neckline, then I'm not going to enter the trace. But if the close price becomes below the neckline, then I wait for the pullback and sell afterwards. So let's monitor together on this one. I think this is a good example to, to wait for the candlestick close in the 5 minute. Yeah, it may break, it may not. We have to wait for this. This is where we have to be patient to wait for the candle close. When you see this, you may think that this is a breakout, but actually not. Because the, this candlestick hasn't closed yet. So let's see. In, in 1 minute and 47 seconds, let's see where it will be closing. And I, I say that I wait for the candle close because I see double bottom here this is the double bottom what I'm, that I'm talking about and this is neckline of the double bottom so the trend follows the, the sorry the market follows the major direction but the new trend happens from the lower time frames so that means if you see this double bottom and neckline breakout that means this can be the beginning of the uptrend. From here, the market may go up continuously, bullish in the wave, and if it breaks the previous support, then it may continuously go up this way. And right now, it's downtrending on a 4 hour, 1 hour, but as the market continues to go up this way, um, eventually 1 hour becomes flat to up, and 4 hour also becomes flat to up. And this is this might be the start of trend reverse. So looks like the candlestick closing in about 10 seconds. So we'll see. Now the close is below the resistance. Okay. You see, so it looks like it became pin bar, closed below the neckline. So from here, my expectation is down this way. Since major direction is down so i expect from here it goes down this way but again if the next one if this one closes above the neckline then i'm not gonna enter trade so if it goes up i don't sell if it goes down i look for a setting edge this is where the the precise entry is becomes very important you have to read the candlesticks in the price actions whether to enter or not. I don't even look at the Bollinger Bands or Stochastics. I only look at the price action to read 
how Bias and Serazu are doing in the five minute. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And, but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.